It's great to see. I feel good when I woke up this morning and I heard heard the uh, the news, the good news. I heard all the people dancing and singing. So, yeah, well, I thought I was dreaming, eh? <laughs> well, the most amazing thing about this is that the issue that's won this up front and centre is people power, democracy and the community. That's in the text of the government decision but that's in the political reality that's in front of us all. Uh, you know, these things build to a crescendo and somebody had to blink first and what was clear is the Northern Rivers was not going to blink. Yeah, look, it's a, it's a great result at this point. We're not going to be looking at uh, over 800 police on Tuesday morning. It's a great relief off a lot of people's minds. It is uh, only a suspension at this point and we'll see how it rolls from here. We'll be keeping a very very close eye on how it develops. Hello folks, I'm really stoked to tell you about a little story. We want to be free of CSG, keep it out of our community. So we took it to the streets, knocked on every door, till everybody had their say. And 98.6% said CSG, no way! My name is um, Kamali Monsal, I'm from the neighbouring tribe with neighbouring concerns and what I've seen in the last what five months how it shared together this journey becoming as strangers we're going to leave as family we had all had our differences but today what we're hearing today you know this brought us all out the, the, the beauty of what people can do together that here we're walking in the footsteps of Mahatma Gandhi and Martin Luther King who set a path before us for non-violent direct action against oppression against injustice and who assured us that if we stayed the path and remained true to the cause, that we would prevail. And today we find that we have. So I'd like to encourage other communities to do what we've done, because there's tremendous joy in causing this much trouble to a dead-end invasive industry such as this one. We don't need it in this state and we don't need it in this country. And other communities can learn from us and do the same thing. But hang on a minute, we smell a rat. Mining companies at our door. Just sitting around and kicking back. No CSG, I'm down with that. So we took it to the streets, knocked on every door. Till everybody had their say. And 98.6% said CSG, no way! Which today sent stuff to Parliament to express our, our, our unity as a community with a map showing all the people that will lock their gate stand at their gate with a pitchfork if they have to, to keep gas companies out. Rosella, well, this is my property, so I'm pretty close. These people say, no, stay away, don't bother coming back another day, you're not welcome. Yeah. Yeah, there was abysmal communication. There was uh, lecturing, there were misleading statements saying it was a conventional gas well, when in fact it was tight sands and would be fracked by unconventional means in the production stage. And that kind of misleading, people are seeing through it. People who have never been involved with this before are saying, why is our governments, why our governments are not listening? And we're saying, what we've done here to say, today and by our actions here is we have made them stand up and listen and perhaps ICAC has as well. Well I went walking old Pacific Highway and I saw above me such a clear blue skyway and the loggers were logging and the miners were mining and I said don't let them take it away. We as a community are united and we will not be defeated and we will stand strong to show the government, the corporations, the powers that be that they will not have our land, they will not have our water and they will not have our future. People are watching this and they're saying it's a victory for democracy as well. Well old Medgasco got very keen oh they hit Glenugi then out near casino but the people shouted, let's keep it green, oh, hey now, don't let them take it away. We want to go forward as a community with sustainable agriculture, renewable energy and tourism. We don't want to turn our region into an industrialised gas field. And this highlights the crisis that we have in our democracy where our elected representatives are not representing us. Yes. They've been corrupted by the money 
of mining companies and vested interests. Absolutely, the war's not over. We face an ongoing crisis of democracy in Australia. We see that the mining companies control all of the major political parties and as a consequence all of our parliaments. What we've achieved in the Northern Rivers is the first big crack in the wall and we have to get in there, make that crack wider, we have to get more communities through that crack in the wall and eventually we have to dismantle that wall and regain our democracy in Australia. And we're not going to rest until all the exploration licences are cancelled in the Northern Rivers? Yes. Yeah. And that our region is declared once and for all for perpetuity yeah. gas field free. Yeah. Mr. Henderson from Metgasco has asked the minister to give a stay on the decision for 48 hours so he can convince him uh, to go ahead because I've got drill rigs and everything hired. So that's that's a tempering thing and it would be a, um, a, a major, major, major backflip if they so went ahead with it. So make sure you keep those calls going to Minister Robert's office um, because there's pressure being put on big time by the industry at this point. It won't just be Metgasco, it'll be Apia, it'll be the other big names in the industry who are saying we you know this is wrong and they have somehow got some access to his office which uh, we haven't been able to get yet so we will be making those calls ourselves and uh, let's watch this space we'll keep everyone informed as, as soon as anything comes to hand it's a bit of a tempering of our celebration um, I don't think they would have the uh, wherewithal what's with what's coming down on them to try and uh, for Mr. Henderson to have any sway, but isn't it interesting? Yes. Don't let them take it.